Richard Dill from Little Mix um, and I like to think that we write and create music which helps to make women especially feel really empowered about themselves. Um, I'm from South Tyneside, very proud to be. It's where I sort of learned my love for performing arts and I always say to anyone that's not from there how overwhelming it is in terms of the support that the community gives to people like myself when they see um, their own doing well. I think it's really special. Um, this year's International Women's Day theme, hashtag choose to challenge, I think is incredibly important because it encourages us all to challenge stereotypes, challenge inequality, call out bias, and really help to push for a more inclusive society. Um, I know for myself, being in the music industry as a young woman, I've definitely had my fair share of inequality, misogyny, sexism. And while I think in the 10 years I've been in the business, it has improved, there's definitely a long, long way to go. Um, so campaigns like this one do really help try and challenge and make change happen quicker. So yeah, please do support International Women's Day and the hashtag choose to challenge campaign. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for everyone's support. Lots of love. Mwah. Hi everybody, um, my name's Irene Hayes and I'm absolutely delighted to be here today to talk to you from my home in Whitburn in South Tyneside. Um, I own Hayes Travel, but I uh, previously had the privilege of being Chief Executive of South Tyneside Council 19 years ago, um, where I worked with some fantastic people within the council, but absolutely uh, had a wonderful time working with all of the communities of South Tyneside, the business communities, the voluntary sector, the housing associations, absolutely everybody. And I have very, very fond memories of that time. I'm delighted today to be supporting uh, Choose to Challenge for International Women's Day. I think it's a really great theme. And I think that's how progress is made by people who challenge the status quo. We know that some progress has been made for women in some places, in some industries, um, perhaps a little bit more in this country than in many other countries around the world. And the whole ethos of Choose to Challenge is that if we have an opportunity to influence equality in any way that we possibly can, we should do just that. There's masses of evidence which suggests that if you have better representation of the community on a board, in a management structure, in the whole of the company of people who were helping other people, you'll not, a, you'll not just get better outcomes and better productivity, but you'll get a better result on the bottom line as well. And there's masses of evidence around that. And uh, obviously a long time ago, I have some funny stories and some not so funny stories about some of the difficulties that I personally encountered in the late 70s, early 80s, but it's all the way through really until the 90s, there uh, were challenges which just simply shouldn't exist. And um, I have to say there have been as many men who've been supportive in my career as there have been women. But today is really important because what we need to do is to continue that challenge. So I'm delighted to be supporting hashtag choose to challenge. Bye everybody. Take care. Hi, my name's Lauren Winfield Hill. Um, I'm an England cricketer. My proudest moments as an England cricketer have to be scoring uh, my first century and also winning the World Cup on home soil in 2017. Uh, my South Tyneside connections is my mum and my grandfather um, both grew up in South Shields. My grandfather actually used to drive the trains from there um, and International Women's Day this year um, is a great thing with Choose to Challenge. I think being a woman in a typically man's sporting world, we have to be strong, we have to be courageous and challenge the norm. Um, and we have to do what we love and, and say what we think, um, even if that's not always the common opinion. Um, that's why I think this year's International Women's Day theme is fantastic with the Choose to Challenge. Hello, Demi Stokes here, a professional footballer from Manchester City. I grew up in South Townside, which I think gave me a lot of opportunities, a lot of fond memories, and I think it's helped shape me who I am today as a person um, and as a football player. 
I think what the International Women's Day theme means to me, I think it's about changing perceptions, changing perceptions in the women's sport and making sure that I do the right thing every day. And I think not just settling for where the game is, but making sure that we can propel it forward so that the next generation that comes through can be just as successful. Hashtag choose to challenge. Happy International Women's Day, everybody. My name is Councillor Tracy Dixon, and I'm the leader of South Tyneside Council. It is always a pleasure to mark International Women's Day. It's an opportunity to pause and reflect on women's achievements. It's also a time to celebrate the remarkable progress that has been made on gender equality over the past years and decades, championed by both men and women. This year's International Women's Day theme is Choose to Challenge, a topic which encourages us all to think about how, in our lives, we can recognise and challenge biases related to gender. In my own life, through both employment and as a local politician, I'm well used to recognising biases and finding ways to overcome these. I was raised in an era where traditional expectations about Willem's place is not typically considered to be in business or in politics. However, with the encouragement of family who helped me to choose to challenge their main themed views, here I am now serving as the first ever female leader of South Tyneside Council. As many of my colleagues on the council will tell you, being a successful ward councillor requires a willingness to ask questions and to speak up for others, particularly those who might not have strong support networks or skills to speak confidently for themselves. I'm proud to have had a hand in achieving a big first for women in South Tyneside politics, but I also know that looking forward, there is still work to do, including using my policy-making role to continue to empower residents and challenge persisting inequalities, whether those are rooted in gender or other protected characteristics. I am honoured to be joined in this video by some inspirational South Tyneside women with their own stories to tell about challenging expectations placed upon them. Between us, of course, we represent just a handful of the thousands of South Tyneside women who are breaking down barriers in different areas and achieving great things. We hope our stories inspire you to think about how we can choose to challenge and continue to be an advocate for gender equalities in an inclusive world.